on this episode of Paper Mario Thousand Year Door. Your arsehole. The hot dogs! Oh my gracious, yummerly! You have fun too, hmm? Oh no, you ruined it! Oh, Bowser, is that a no? You will now enjoy the pleasure of my company. Have a kiss. Mario's is getting all the ladies. Miss Mouse, join the party! Hello, everybody, welcome back to another episode of Paper Mario Thousand Year Door! Last part, we headed off. We headed off into the steeple. We had our name stolen by a friggin' ghost. Uh, we got the uh, so we had to hunt down, hunt down our body. Uh, we had to guess the guy's name, but we could because we we're missing the letter P in the uh, the the uh, the name giver. But we got it. We exposed him, and now we got to chase after him. So we need to uh, give chase. So, we need to go back to the steeple. Alright. What's going on here? Whoop. Wait. All right. Why? Going here. No, Mr. Ghost. I played with you once already. I don't need to play with you again. Alright. Alright. <laughs> Hey, you again, eh, Slick? You're pretty stern to follow me all the way here. Fine, fine, I see, I get it. Let's just put it into this, shall we? Alright, kids, put on your flying gloves. Uh, Woohoo, it's a me. No thing, Mario. I'm right there with you. Traitors! This creep couldn't take us on his own, so he teamed up with the three, mi with the three minus two shadows. Well, we certainly won't be letting him do anything to our little Mario. We're gonna take his Payne Gonzalez-style shadow guy. Very good, my loyal ones. How dare this name this nobody challenge the great Mario. Mario? The guy who stole your name body is Mario? That means you're Mario. Uh, yes. I can't believe it. All this time I was helping Mario. I feel like an idiot. Ah, she's gone. What's going on here, huh? Fight with your girlfriend. Well, don't expect any sympathy from me. From us ghoulies. From us ghoulie. Alright. I don't need no ghost to take you on. Yeah. Alright. Say your friends ditch you because you don't have the milk cat charisma of me, Super Mario. Ma'am? Sir? Alright. That Mario. Fake Mario. What? Damage? Yeah, that, that's why you guessed my name, but now, st now stuff hurts sometimes. Oh no! Ah! Suck! Alright. 
You please! Fuck you, Goombella. Not today, madam. Not today. I wonder if they have the same HP. Um, I'm sorry, sis. This Mario is the only person who's ever been kind to me. Little lady! Mario, fine by your side from now on! And I, I've made my choice. I'm not turning back. Alright. Girlfriend power! Light him up! Mario, don't let your guard down, okay? Ma'am? Try to super guard that, but I could not do it. The great Super Mario, how dare you! Little lady! The little lady knows who the real Mario is. Oh, you didn't eat. Oh. Mario's hurting. Wait a minute, Goombella. Oh, the Amazing Daisy? What the fuck, Amazing Daisy? Put my audience to sleep. What do you think you are, Jigglypuff? My star pieces, my star points. Huh? Give back my body name. Joyce! Nah, you better run. What? You ran away? I mean, wait, what the heck is going on here? That wasn't the real Mario. Did we just shell winked? <laughs> we ever mistake our Mario for another? We have our deepest apologies. So, who's this girl, huh? Isn't she one of the three shadow you met guys mentioned? Why would Gonzalez pair up with one of those creeps? Well, I, uh. Oh, yeah. Oh, Mario, thanks for sticking up for me. Well, thanks to her, I guess you came through this okay. No sweat, right? Uh, listen, Mario, sorry about it earlier. I'd be happy to chat with you if you'll have me. Yes! Vivian has really enjoyed your party now! 
This is for you. I got the... I got a star! For real this time! I can now use the art, uh, art attack. Yahoo! Hard to beat the rogue who had stolen his name and appearance. Now Mario has four crystal stars. That leaves a mere three more to find. And that means his quest to collect all the crystal stars is more than half over. Now Mario heads off towards his next adventure with his new friend Vivian. Uh, what about Beldum and Marilyn? And what became of the doppelganger Duplis? Who knows? Who cares? Yep, yep, yep. Vivian is so very late. Where has that scatterbrain been all this time? Good. Are you sure about this? Speak up, X not. Yes, sir. Quite sure. I poured over all the research of the Thousand Year Door. And it appears the seeming power has definitely been weakening, as Belden said. Finally, the treasure of legend. The ancient power of darkness will soon be ours. Listen, listen well. Keep giving the Crystal Stars research top priority. Of course, that also includes the elimination of Mario. That metal scum. Got it, sir. Soon I'll have the power that has slept for a millennium. So very soon. When that glorious day dawns, I'll fill the door of the world to depths of terror. No one can stop me now. I will kneel before the Exonaut regime, and then I, Grotus, will build a new world. A perfect ideal world. Yes, a world made by me, about me, and for me. Alright. Whatever you say, man. Tech, did you call me? What shall I do today? Will it be dancing, perhaps? Disguising? Or will I sing a song or something? I... I am conflicted. Huh? What's wrong, Tech? You don't seem yourself. Which is more, which is more important? Carry out an order or protecting a critical person? I exist for the purpose of a certain purpose. Or person. I wish to exist for the, pur for the purpose of another. I do not know what to do. Really. What do you mean? No. Never mind. Please forget my musings. I don't know why, but it makes you feel unpleasant if I make you worry. Well, in any case, let's have a quiz. A quiz? That's right. I'm about to ask you a series of questions. Please choose the correct answer among three options. If you can answer five questions, you may use the communicator as usual. What's with you all of a sudden, huh? Now the first question. What will, you ha what will happen if you collect the... the uh, a thousand coins appear! Correct. Now the second question. What is the goal of Grotus, leader of the Exonauts? To become a superhero! Conquer the world. Correct. Now the third question. What is the legendary treasure that waits behind the thousand year door? Tech, is this. Princess, please, please answer. What is the legendary treasure that waits behind the door? 100,000 coins! An extremely rare badge, a thousand year old demon soul. How the fuck would Peach know this? Correct. Now, the fourth question. What is Sir Girls wish to do with this ancient demon soul? Cherish it always! Hang out with it! How does Peach know about this? Correct. Now the fifth question. What's required to seal up the demon again? A legendary sword! A magic spell with a crystal stars. Correct. You have correctly answered all five questions. Now you may use the communicator. Tech, you... Is it okay for you to tell me such things? Please input the message you wish to send. Oh boy. Uh, okay. I'm done. Could you send it? Alright. This is all for now. Please go back to the room. Thank you. 
This is a weird computer attack. Good night, Princess Peach. That was a fast interlude. Oh, now it's Bowser. He's back again. What are you doing? My lord, I'm super poor, so a very secret in the floating town in the floating town of Glitzville. That's why the cheap limp there. Come now. You there, two tickets, one great and evil king, and one sweet young thing. You really? You good gravy! Bowser the evil king and a deluded old hag, uh, life too short. What what did you just say? Hey, come back here, you impudent little cheapskate. Where'd Bowser go? Hey, I'm talking to myself! Where'd Lord Bowser go? Where did he go? Now I was about to say, why does Bowser need a blimp when he has that? Forget that wimpy blimp! Blimpy, I'm right, we riding this, baby! I snuck into Glitzful once before, so I know the way! No problem, Mo. You go easy on your old limbs and take a slow ride with blimp, Grandma! Oh no! Wait, Lord Bowser, please! Aww. Now my special dirigible deluxe brown bag cami lunch will go to wait. Excuse me? Uh, uh oh. Huh? A warning light? Oh, don't tell me. He fell in the ocean. Oh, what the fuck is this? Uh, oh, I'm underwater. I'm surprised Bowser can swim. That's not how you swim. Alright. Bowser's so small. Bowser's so small. What's down here? What else is down here that I'm missing? Bird! I came from where the fuck did it even come from? It jumped out of nowhere. Do the whole thing all over again?
Quick me, blooper. Yeah. That was so fucking big. Alright. He's so big! Bigger than Godzilla. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, geez, that was terrible. I'm getting shaved. Who's last Bowser? The Koopa King. You lead us. Someone help. Uh -uh. Well, she had a good time, Blitzville. There you are, Lord Bowser. What are you doing? What are you doing here? I've been looking for all over. I may ask, where have you been, you sogginess? <laughs> Swimming. Really? Neat! As for me, Blitzville was fantastic! The fights were so cool! I was overcome! Why, even at my age, I was shaking with what my mama gave me! Uh, let's do that over again. And then, the hot dogs! Oh my gracious, Yummerly! You had fun too, hmm? Oh no, you ruined it! Oh, Krause, is that a no? <laughs> that was terrible, you hear me? I saw the dang blooper! I wanted to have fun! Don't forget it, it's over! Go give me some assault info on Princess Peach and the Crystal Stars now! Oh no. Poor Bowser. I can't believe it was a fake Mario all the time. All the time. So we were all fooled. I'm so sorry, Mario. After all you've done for our town, can we hurt your feelings? Maybe a little. Nah, it's fine. You're a bigger man than I, Mario. Such fortitude. You're a true hero. You brought a shining ray of light to our dim little town. Twilight Town thanks you. Hey, Mario. We need to get back to Rogueport, right? Let's go. Please come back to visit anytime you like. I do. I will. Maybe, maybe next time this place won't be so dark and dreary. All right. Uh, we need to go to the let to uh, the door. So, uh, oh, I'm gonna smile. There's something got an email. All right. My dear Mario, I finally learned what the legendary treasure is. It is the spirit of a demon. The Exxon is planning to use its power to take over the world. They're collecting the crystal stars so they can open the thousand-year door and unseal the demon spirit. Those same crystal stars can also be used to reseal it. You must not let them get the crystal stars. Please, Mario, you must not put stop their horrible plans. And an ancient demon spirit. I don't know. Now, oh, this fucking spinner. go to the, the thousand year door so I will be right back all right before we go to the thousand year door there's this thing that we couldn't get to before because those damn spikes in this room I'm assuming I can use those spikes use Vivian's ability to uh, avoid the spikes Shield, I finally get the spike shield. Uh, requires three, huh? Won't send me back. Oh, won't send me back to the beginning. All right. Now we need to get. Now we need to get out. Oop. Oh. 
Alright. Uh, mm. Get out of here. Oh. Down the pipe! Pipe Mario! And by the way, I didn't show this last time, but since we were able to break the big yellow blocks now, we have a shortcut there. So it's a little bit easier to get there. Right. A magic map, where's it gonna point me to? The deep ocean? Pirate treasure? Alright. We better hurry, don't you think? We should go up to the professor's office. You have to let them know about the prin princess's email. You didn't even know who he is. What? Now that was written in Princess Peach's email? The legendary treasure is actually the spirit of an ancient demon. And those fiends want to use the crystal stars to open the thousand year door and resurrect it. How bone chilling. Sadly, it does seem to be cons consistent with what I uncovered. What have you found out, Professor? Hmm, this is rather long, so I you best listen well. And all of you are ready? And you then in front, in front of the screen. Excuse, excuse me? Fourth wall? You listen up too! Uh, maybe I'm missing something. Are you talking to no one? Oh, never mind. Never mind. Don't worry, just such a trivial details. Just listen. The great guy doesn't destroy the seal which once stood here may refer to this demon. It said, it said that the seven crystal stars were actually created by that monster. And that thing was used to power the crystal stars to try to, to, try to control the world. Before in a legend, the demon was defeated in the end by the four heroes. But only the beast's physical form was destroyed. The spirit could not be eradicated. And the soul the heroes used the crystal stars, which they had which they had stolen from the demon, and they sealed its wicked spirit within the palace of shadow, locked behind the thousand year door. And this together the crystal stars cannot distinguish good from evil. So if they're all united, they could either seal away or resurrect the demon. It seems that who that who wields the crystal stars determines if they're used for evil or good. I guess we ought to be, 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 be considered not collecting the crystal stars then. Does anyone think that might just be better to just, just destroy them all, destroy them once and for all? That was my first thought too, but further research suggests that we can't do that. There's a slight possibility that the thousand year door is weakening. It seems the crystal stars hold the power to seal the beast for thousands of years. So once a thousand years pass, the power that to keep the door was sealed was shut, shut with fail. And unfortunately this year may be the thousandth year. In other words, we must be ready for the demon's return, even if the Exonauts fail. Oh, then I guess we better find the rest of the crystal stars if we want to see that demon, huh? Where do we start? Hmm, according to the map, it appears to be somewhere in, in Keel Hall Bet Key. Keel Hall Key? I'm not too familiar with the place, but I've heard countless unsavory rumors. You know, the usual stuff. Vengeful spirits, full of hatred, evil curses, things like that. I'm sure the sea salts down by the harbor no more. You should head there first. Alright, we will do that, but not right now. So, yeah, going forward, I don't really remember the areas that we're going to. <sighs> so, we saw the train area. There's that snowy area in the top left, and there's this area. I don't remember those areas, really, if at all. So, um, I have... So I don't know what to expect. Whoa, oh. 
Hello, Mario. This is Mush, Jillian's younger brother, the first champion of the Glitz Pit. Remember me? They helped me out recently. So not sure what happened, but I do know that if you and my sister were hadn't saved me, well, I get chills just thinking about it. Anyway, I was hoping if you heard about my big comeback, I've been pushing all, all my limits, but the most punishing training regimen of my entire career. I finally feeling and seeing the results. So it's time for Prince, Prince Mush to make for grand return to the king to the ring. I want you to witness the fruits of my labor, Mario. I asked my sis for help, and she's arranged a special expedition match just for the two of us. New champ versus original champ. Alright, uh, so. Alright. So, yeah, we can now fight Mush! Well, I'll do that till a little bit later. Alright. Mr. Man! Upgrade Vivian! Vivian! Shazimi! Shazumi! Alright. I'm good, man. I can't power up anymore, anyway. Alright. Alright. Uh, so. While we're here, let's check out the shop, see if there's any new stock. In terms of, like, badges and stuff. Man, what do you have to sell now? Uh, absolutely nothing, really. All right. Oh well, we got, we got that cookbook last spot and last time too. So let's give it to Miss Madam here. Hey, Miss my contacts, Mush. You listen to this. I got the lowdown on a book that can turn anyone into a master chef. Went to the trouble center in the east part of town and recruited someone to find it. If you like helping things out, you ought to swing by there. I'll reward you. So I just, I got I got it already. Oh, do I really have to go to the trouble center and get that book? I already have it. Oh, fine. Oh, hey, Luigi's here. Well, I headed the circuit breakout. I got my marvelous my marvelous compass piece. You wouldn't believe it, bro. Talk about thrills, chills, and spills. It was pretty exciting, bro. All right. Well, like I said, it's a long story, but here it goes. Just our boat, uh, as our boat arrived, circuit on Breaking Island, we heard this incredible racket. We soon found out that they hold a kit cart races almost every day on that island. Whoever takes for, takes first place in the race gets through the island's king for that day. This is we got to the racetrack, and they were holding the, the award ceremony. I couldn't believe my eyes right there on the trophy they gave they get on the trophy they give to the winner. It was another piece of the marvelous compass. I almost passed that passed dead away. Passed dead away? What the fuck's that supposed to mean? Passed out. I decided right then and there that the only thing to do was enter the race. I mean, I've driven kart races before, so I thought it'd be okay. Boy, was I wrong. The carts were supercharged machines that could send you to the airborne with the other exhaust. These vehicles were armed with missiles and bazookas. It was, any it was anything goes, bro. Of course, I wanted to get it right out, right out there, right out of there. Pronto, pronto. These drivers are crazy. I worked, but I worked up my courage and signed up anyway. And then my race day finally came. I got one of the best cards, the big green 01 that took my position at the start line. The green light, the light went green, and I saw the accelerator. That's what that happened. I was in reverse. Big green 01 was rocketing backwards with my yelling. I crashed into the wall behind me hard enough to cut off the screen. In one fell soup, I dropped into last place and wrecked my racing machine. But it wasn't all bad news. All the other cards crashed before my, because of my maneuver. Once I got, got in gear, I took off, and I was the only car left. I went back, country mile, bro. I took the piece off my trophy and added to the marvelous compass. The compass came to life and pointed me to Jazz of France Town in the east. Then I heard that voice. Princess declares that voice echoed in my ears again. Oh, my princess! Random words would, would form poetry if I had spoken by your voice. I will most definitely save you. Just wait for me, Princess Declare. Oh, sorry about that, bro. Um, so, after that, I got back on my boat. I came back here to Rogueport. That's what's been up with me. Man, you have we have lots of thrills going on with you, man. Um, are we? I wonder. Are, are we ever gonna see Princess Eclair? Probably not. Hey, man, what's your deal? Yeah, I'm Torque, and I don't and don't for a second think this dude's telling the whole story. <laughs> the only reason I lent him my rig was because he got down on his knees and begged. I was mad. And what happens? He's in it for one second before he completely totals it. Idiot. 
I'm not letting this get out of my sight until you repay some of the 5,000 coin repair costs. Jesus Christ, man. You're just, you're just a wreck. <laughs> First it was with the, it was with the blooper. Now it's with him. Oh boy. Alright, what do we got in here? Uh, first, close call, happy flower, blah, head rattle. Right, Tampa confused the enemy when hindering their actions. Mm. Alright. I'm good. Whee! Alright, uh, we need to check out the Chubb Center since we're uh, in the interlude. What is happening over here? Elusive badge! What is this? I'm, a, I'm after an elusive badge. I must explain person. Meet me on the roof of Zesty's house in Middle Port Square. Alright. It may be dangerous. Wanna take this trouble? Sure. No! I wanted to take it on! Don't do it right! Uh, Debbie, how am I supposed to get on top of the roof, though? Um... Oh, I'm done. Never mind. Ignore me. I'm stupid. Of course, the bad shop. What's up, lass? Mm -hmm. Hi, Mr. Mustache Cutie. I'm the one with the trouble. Mm, I'm a pretty lucky girl to have you strap and fell like you on my trouble. Well, let me get right to it, okay? I've done all I can to find this elusive badge, but I failed it every turn. The badge is hidden and hooked those there. That much, I'm, not, I'm sure. I went to check that room after you I heard you defeat. After, check that room after you heard you defeat the hooktail, but nothing. I do hear rumors that to find this badge, one has to use the wind. I have no idea what that means, though. Anyway, look for it. It's okay, sweetie? I have absolutely no fucking idea where that could be. So I will be back once I found it. Alright. God damn, it took forever to get out, get back over here. Holy shit. Uh the wind, Miss Lady, blow this away. Alright. Lose the badge! Alright, uh, we got that. We gotta go all the way back to fucking Rogue Port, so I will get back. Miss Mouse, I'm back! Holy shit, that was a journey. Look at that face. Does that mean you found the badge? I did. There you go. Well, this is certainly just the badge I was looking for. Oh my, yes. Mm -hmm. Now, my sweet, promise to hear me out without getting mad. You see, I was, I was the one who hit that badge. It was a little game of mine. Like, what the fuck? I have to apologize, but I knew you would find it, my handsome cheese hunk. You may have, have more bad fighting skills than I do. I just thought of something. Probably should travel with you from now on. Cool. Because mm -hmm, I'm sure to find lots of badges that way, don't you think? Now about that reward. Let's see. Take this badge that you managed to find, but I expect you to lead me, me, lead me to more. Badge. Now, let me formally state that you will now enjoy the pleasure of my company. Have a kiss. Miles is meeting all the ladies. Miss Miles, join the party! Alright, what do you got? And press blind. Miss Miles will sniff out the surrounding air. If there are any items or objects hidden nearby, she'll point you toward the general direction. Alright. Yeah, there should be something nearby. There's an eye or something that enters inch nearby. Her nose will twitch. All right. 
so excited. There's something right here, right near us, sweetie. The reaction will change depending on the directions on the item. Alright, I got it. She loves slap. She can also help out by using Kiss Thief to steal an enemy's item. Ooh. You saw the trouble! Alright, we got Miss Mouse in our party now. Now let me tell you this, when I first played this a long time ago, and for a good while actually, I didn't know you can recruit Miss Mouse. I didn't know that you could recruit her until probably a couple years ago. So, um, yeah. Let's get her upgraded since we have enough shine sprites. Here we go, Miss Mouse. So Zibi! Okay. Alright, man. Alright. I'm good, man. I am a good Mr. Sir. Alright. I got one more trouble we gotta do, and that's, and that's that stupid cookbook, which I already have. Oh, sick and legendary book! I want you to go to find the legendary book cookbook for me. I already got it. I got it. I got it already. I don't need to read this. I already went to your house. I don't know why I had to come here to, to deliver it. Alright. There should be something nearby. Yeah, there's a chest right down there. Which I can't get to because I don't have the ability for it. Alright. I like how she, has, she holds her arms back like she's running around like a ninja. Uh-huh. Hey, madam, I got you your cookbook. Hey, you... hey, you took a trouble? Well, it's very important to listen, to Mr. Klutz. I just got there was a list legendary name, chef named Ma Ma Matre Delish. Maitre? Maitre? Rumor has that he instantly become the better chef by reading his book. Unfortunately, it's an old book that's hard to find. Stores don't carry it. I've recently heard that someone who used to live in Creepy Steeple, yet I had a copy. There are many secret rooms in Creepy Steeple, so it's moldering there somewhere. I just have to get my, my hands on that book and read it. Help me out, stum bum. I already got it, don't you worry. Ah, that's it! That's the book of Rubat by Matre Delish! Give it here quick! There you go, I don't need it for it. I don't have a use for it anyway. I see ya! Alright, what are you gonna do? Boing! Got it now! This glaze of mushroom with honey syrup and for a yummy honey mushroom. Brilliant! Really? You needed a cookbook for that? Snacky is a recipe that requires two ingredients. Well, that's some book. Talk about effective. Thank you, Mr. Staggers. Take this as your reward. Mushroom! Snacky is a recipe that requires two ingredients and you can use any time. Alright. Can I get jam and jellies? That's what I want to know. I have a jam and jelly, or not jam and jelly, a uh, jelly ultra. Um, I believe I have both, uh, yeah, Ultra and the Jam and Jelly, so I'm going to save it. I'm assuming I'll still be able to do it. Uh, that's not where I want to be. Alright, madam. Alright. Two items. Ultra Shroom and Jam and Jelly! There you go. Take these. Alright. Jelly Ultra! I'm good. I'm gonna put that away so I don't accidentally use it. I'm here to store. Alright. <laughs> Let's sell those other shit that I don't need, like, uh, boo sheets. <laughs> I miss the software, I don't need that. 
Super Luigi. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> I've been experienced in time no matter how how you try, how hard you tried, you failed, and the time you spent felt wasted if you've ever felt such pangs and regret. Try to remember this tale, the story of a young man's quest to save a sweet princess. Uh oh. This is pretty. Oh, this is the retelling of. Oh boy. Wait. This means can I keep buying his shit? Okay, well, cool. Wonderful. Alright. I got Luigi's book. Volume 1. Out of who knows how many. Alright. I am going to wrap it up here. When we come back, we gotta head off to the ports and. We gotta figure out. We're, uh, how we're supposed to get to the island. So, I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you then. Later. <laughs>